to the Gas Hole Cast! So we went to our local theater tonight to see Thor Ragnarok. It was awesome! It was awesome. You know what made it even more awesome? What was that? It's your birthday. It is my birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday, boy! Happy birthday, you got to see Thor. I'm really cool. My anyway, goodness. the theater we went to tonight was really, really awesome. What did it you think? It was awesome. We have never... Well, have we been in theater number 12 there? Uh, Yes, I have. But is it, but they redid the entire theater yeah, at our I local didn't theater. Yeah, know that. And, and it was awesome. You want to tell them what we uh, encountered? We walked up, and there's, like, people with... Like, I see the popcorn sitting up. Normally, you just have the two things on the side, and that's it. But there, it's, like, sitting in front of people, and I'm like, What? And I sit down on this, like, leather chair, and, like, it has reclining legs, so I'm like this, and... It was awesome. Oh it had God. a button to recline your seats. They were big awesome. leather and plush. It was almost like you're at home. Mm -hmm. It couldn't get any better than that. And we bought special premiere tickets that showed a little opener, kind of 15-minute ordeal, mm -hmm. <clears throat> talking about the movie, which we missed a little bit of that because mm -hmm. we were out running for pops. Oops. Can you believe that? I, I can't. can't. Um, but yeah, so we're out looking for pops, and we came, came into the theater, and oh my god, it was amazing. And before we got into the theater, they gave us a free popcorn with our tickets. Yes. We actually, I think, we're both uh, eligible for free popcorn. Yeah, but I but think we just got the one we because the popcorn was humongous. Yeah, it was. It was literally. Did you want to post the picture? Uh, yeah, we could post the picture okay. right now. Bigger than my face. Yeah, it's a humongous popcorn. It was crazy. It was humongous. But what they did give us before the movie was really, really cool. It's an opening night fan event coin. We are starting a new segment called Five Minute Review. What movie are we reviewing tonight, Heather? Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok! Thor 3! I don't think that's what it's called. I think it's just Thor Ragnarok. It is, but it's, Thor, it's the third Thor movie. No, I think it's just Thor Ragnarok. The coin is Thor's helmet on one side and Hulk, Hulk's helmet on the other. And I think that's really, really cool. It's they gave awesome. us both the coins. They usually give out posters, but tonight they gave us a coin. I tried to get a poster, but you said, nah, let's go. Nah, I didn't want to bother anybody. I want to go look for pops. I instead. wanted to Whoops. bother them and get that poster. You always want to bother people. I love that you bother me. Well, that's real sweet. So, we're going to go ahead and start this on the stopwatch here. So, we're going to do our stopwatch, and we're going to stop at five minutes, no matter where we're at. What if it's five minutes, zero, one? That's one second. Heather, don't be ridiculous. All right, here we go. The clock has started. We just went to see this movie, so what did you think? I thought it was awesome. So did I. What was your favorite part? Uh, my favorite part, I am not sure. Give me a second to think about it. Why don't you talk? I really, really enjoyed this movie. It is at the very top of my favorite movies of all time, believe it or not. I thought it was a great mixture of action and comedy. Uh, the characters that we all know and love, Thor and Loki, they all had a, a significant amount of screen time. The Hulk was in it, of course, and the Hulk was awesome. And the movie was, uh, the, the storyline was very even flow. It just kind of mm -hmm. just, it kind of just all felt like it was supposed to happen that way. There was no stopping points where you're like, oh, this is kind of boring and, you know, it's time to go to the bathroom, which I actually went to the bathroom this time. Yeah, that was I, weird. I, I don't know why I did that. I never do that, but I did this time. You didn't I miss should, anything. I, yeah, I know. But, you were real fast. Well, I'm, next time I go see the movie, which will be soon, uh, I'll be able to catch the part that I missed. But so many things happen. Doctor so Strange things. shows up. Uh, Thor loses his hammer. Hammer. And that's really, really crazy when he loses the hammer because the whole mo movie is, who is Thor without the hammer? Who is he? I don't know. Epically amazing and yeah. very, very powerful. Parts, uh, 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 powerful um, strengths and powers that we really have not seen out of Thor before. You know what he reminded me of when he was using his power without the hammer? was my super on destiny oh where he's where running, I'm, like, around, you're running, running around like this just, with lightning yeah the lightning yeah exactly yeah, yeah. what did yeah, they call right. him um, uh, grandmaster called him sparkle yeah called him sparkles <laughs> grandmaster was awesome he was um, really he was cool. he was a I really think, cool character you know you asked me what my favorite part was i think he was part of my favorite part but then the help me or help him bit with loki yes that yeah was that was hilarious. really fun but the the grandmaster was like creepy sort of 
And yeah. like there's one point in the movie where he's like playing like Thor is like locked in his chair and he's like basically Thor is scared. He doesn't know what's going to happen to him. He's on Sakaar. He ends up on Sakaar. He has no idea what's going on. And Grandmaster's just kind of sitting there playing like a, a electronic piano or like keyboard or something. Yeah, it was really And it's like weird. really creepy and weird, but it's like really funny. And yeah. there's a lot of humor involved in that, yeah. which I thought was awesome. Yeah. Um, Hulk was great. Um, Bruce Banner, I think, was even better. Yes. It was the first time that I've ever watched one of these movies and kept thinking to myself, I really want to see Banner. Like, yeah. usually it's like, oh, come on, can you just show Hulk and him blowing up, blowing mm-hmm. things up and fighting and everything else? But in this movie, I wanted to see Banner interact with Thor and see the human side. I, thi- I think that was what they wanted you to feel, though, really. I think so, too. Because, um, basically, Thor and Hulk get into the arena, and Thor's like, hey, buddy! And Hulk's like, no, I'm gonna kill you! Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because Hulk is sort of, like, it's it's almost like a separating of minds. It's yeah. Banner is, like, one mind, and Hulk is another. Yeah, they're not friends when he's the Hulk. Right. The Hulk and just wants to destroy. Pretty much, yeah. Um, but I, I think that that whole arc... Of, of how it's almost two separate people was really funny yeah. because Hulk is like this big brooding monster and Banner when he shows up in the movie he's like scared and he's like having a panic attack yeah. because he's on some foreign planet um, but let's talk about Hela what did you think of Hela? I didn't like her as much as you did you were very let down over Hela yeah like when I saw when I saw the previews I thought she like she looks awesome she looks really cool her walk is really cool she's like yeah. walking like like a snake yeah, and her makeup and like just everything about her and just the fact that she's so strong but i feel like for example with spider-man homecoming when you see the vulture that's the villain you feel connected to him you feel like there's some sort of story but with hella it's sort of just like Hey, it's very I'm narrow, scary. very narrow. Yeah, and, and her it. whole her whole goal is to basically destroy Asgard, really. Yeah, and and that's kind of how the movie kind of flows into her destroying Asgard yeah. while Thor is trying to get back, and he puts together a team. Valkyrie is a new character who shows up, who is apparently a warrior from Asgard from a long time ago, who helped Thor's dad, and she's like a very important character in she this movie. Cool. She starts off not really wanting to be a part of it, and then of course, as all movies go, wanted to be a part of it with Thor, and then Thor takes back the whole gang, and they fight and do their battle, and it's really cool. And there's another side of the story where it's Heimdall, and Heimdall is basically trying to take all the Asgardians and like hide them so Hela doesn't kill them, so that's another part of the story. That was cool. And that was really cool. Heimdall was an awesome character. The movie ended epically, and there was a after credit scene where it makes you wonder where is this going, and we all know it's the big bad Thanos and Infinity War, and we're about to come up on five minutes. Any last words? Nope. Nope. (laughs) It was awesome. Go see it!